Well, hey there, guys, and welcome to a brand new Ed's Retro Geek Out. Welcome to 2021. That means new collecting goals and new channel goals for the new year. I do a video like this every year. It just helps me focus and really shape the way I want to plan out my content. So I'll be going over all of my collecting goals. But, but first, let's take a look at the channel goals I had set for the previous year, um, where I was hoping to get to 8,000 subscribers, which I did. Did, I surpassed it and it was really cool to see the channel explode through the last year even though you know COVID and uh, all of those issues came along as well. What do I plan on doing next year? I think around now, I think now I'm at about 24 thousand subscribers so I'm hoping to add another 10 to that in the following year. Maybe reach 40 not sure <laughs> maybe it's possible I, I don't know um but uh we'll, we'll see what happens I'm, I'm saying 34 let's try getting to 34,000 subscribers next year what will i be scheduling my videos like i'm gonna try maintaining uh the two videos each week but as you've seen in the last year uh i was you know taking like a couple weeks off every so often it was usually intended to only be a week off but you know i, I start writing some scripts for like a video and it ended up taking three weeks each time which isn't good so I want to go for two videos each week but stick to at least having one out in case I need like a short break I'll, I'll still release one video not you know push everything that's in the schedule way behind uh, and you know just keep providing content for all you lovely subscribers out there which brings me to the next point if you haven't subscribed already please do um, it's right down there in the YouTube thing subscribe um, hit the notification bell and all that good stuff uh, what will you be subscribing for you will be see, you will be subscribing for new toy histories I'll be completing one or two toy history videos each month I hope to get back out there with Matthias and Renzo and film some behind the collectors which is a video series I do about collectors we head out to their collection rooms we shoot a little documentary style video about their collecting and all the cool pieces they have in their collection there's a link to the playlist up here so if you want to check out those videos definitely do um, another thing that kind of came out another thing that kind of came as a surprise as well as toy history um, toy history was just like I don't know what to create uh, I didn't have any you know s footage backed up from other conventions or anything so it was just like something you know I'll create a video about um, produced toys that I wish were made and uh, I just slapped toy history the name on top of that you know if 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 it would uh do do well it, it I, I could move on with that as like the name for the project and it ended up being very good for the channel so that's where you know 2020 and covid um really um uh, pushed me towards creating videos that weren't just me walking around at a flea market or going to somebody else's collection but really you know doing research and making top tens or top eights videos about toys stuff I want to learn about and then share with you guys so you got the toy histories that basically came out of all the restrictions that COVID uh, brought along with it but then we also had the live streams which I absolutely love that we started doing those we had multiple uh, like heroes of mine um, as guests on these we had Toy Galaxy we had Pixel Dan we had um, Retro Blasting on we had Pixel Gaming Squad I did, also did some other live streams with my UK buddies from Empire Toys with Retro Rick um, and just you know interviewing um, people that create toys or, or, or creating books about toys to just have you know intel to tell stories uh, about these things so that's been very great I hope that Life from the Attic together with my co-hosts Greco Fabulous and Narc not another retro channel we will continue to do that every month at least one time because it's great hanging out with these guys I should have been back there in Texas together with Greco over at Narcs and uh, yeah COVID true threw all those plans off the table right away so hopefully we can get back to doing something more similar like that um 
I will be doing like one pickup video each month, like just showing everything I got that month because uh, I want to do more of the informative videos or actually go out hunting and having live footage in it. So none of the like, there's three pickup videos in a row. Uh, I, I don't feel like uh, anybody wants to see that. Um, and yeah, hunting videos. I'm gonna go hunting tomorrow over at a buddy of mine. He has like a couple of uh, cases of doubles that he was like, okay, you can go through these, just, you know, film it and it'll be a fun hunting episode. So I'm l really looking forward to doing that. And then we get to the actual collecting because what will I be hunting for in these videos? Um, I'll be hunting for games still and lots of toys and retro 90s and 80s stuff. Uh, video games, I've, I, I've been collecting for 10 years, all the retro games that you can see right over there. And I was going for like complete sets, but uh, it, it's just not as enjoyable anymore. I want to actually play some of this stuff and start playing some of it during the lockdown. I was like, am I really gonna go hunting for these games that I'll never play, that I don't have any interest in? So I'm kind of like purging the collection a little bit, but also refocusing. I'm gonna be focusing on getting a full set of the Game Boy, which I'm pretty close for. I only have like 20 left to get those, and then NES is just the gaming system I love. Uh, so I'll be keeping all of those, as well as the N64, which was my childhood system. Uh, but apart from that, like Sega Master System, uh, Genesis, uh, Super Nintendo, and you know, GameCube, Saturn, all that other stuff. I'm just gonna take a couple of sessions of do I really want this and then just, you know, take it over to the next convention that will hopefully happen in 2021 and sell it off. So, um, yeah, I'll still be looking for games, but I'll be going for quality or stuff I really want to play instead of just, oh, I don't have that, let's just buy it. No, I'm uh, gonna do a bit more thinking about which games I'm gonna be getting into. Uh, then, of course, with me doing all the research for the toy histories, it's become more apparent that I'm really interested in all of these toy lines. So I hope to just find more and more uh, samples of these toys, just to have some of it, uh, to, to play with it, to really uh, be able to talk about it in the videos. So I'm gonna be hunting for way more 80s and 90s stuff. That's what I'm gonna be trying to focus with on the videos as well. 80s toy lines and 90s toy lines. I might dig into a couple of 70s stuff, but uh, I'm, I'm not gonna like uh, do like the best of the 50s toy lines or, or something like that. I want to focus on 80s and 90s stuff. Um, apart from that, I'm still just looking for anything Masters of the Universe, anything Thundercats, anything uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, because it's still like the thing that makes me most happy in life. <laughs> anything that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ghostbusters stuff as well. And I'm also focusing uh, on a couple of lesser known toy lines like the Mad Balls, the Boglins, and uh, Toxic Crusaders, which I only need two more vehicles for to get a complete set. Last year, I completed my Skeleton Warriors collection, also a toy line by Playmates, by Playmates which I was like, damn, I have like the complete line. There is a second wave, uh, there's a second complete wave that was finished and done, prototypes were ready for it, that never came out. So hopefully one of the customizers on Instagram or somewhere else on Etsy will be uh, digging into that and hopefully making some of those unreleased Skeleton Warriors. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be focusing on that stuff. And talking about customs, I want to get more into like the customs, like Ahimo on Instagram, he does some really cool Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff. My buddy Javaho Creations, who's doing loads of 5.5 Master of the Universe inspired toys, and there's just a ton more out there. So if you if you know of any really cool Masters of the Universe or Team NT toy line creators. Um, um, custom creators, then leave it down in the comments below. The whole customs thing pretty much started for me when I heard about Paludo um, being made by Technodrome Toys. He's also doing a Street Sharks, uh, what is it, Clemando? He's making that this year, so I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for that and create a shelf that's dedicated to customs and, you know, um, 
customizations and, and well, I don't want to say reproductions, but you know, uh, toys that never got made that they're, you know, make it now. So this, this definitely sparked it all. So thanks so much, Thicken and Roman Toys for doing that. And there's also the thing about newer toys, like the NECA stuff and the Super 7s. Um, basically, really going to be picky on whichever ones I get, because I, I, I would really love to see that money instead of me just going for all of the Ultimates Super 7 is putting out for TMNT, um, or all the NECA, all the stuff that NECA is putting out, I would rather would see that money go towards uh, people customizing figures that were never released in the initial toy line. Um, and, and now being created that really look like that. And uh, just, you know, because for Europe, it really sucks getting these and it's always way more expensive. Uh, I, I don't just get to go over to Walmart or a Target and, you know, stand in line, hopefully, uh, hopefully get it if, if any scalpers don't get it I just want to move a bit away from getting all the newly released stuff by uh, NECA and Super 7 and all that stuff I'm gonna be really picky about that this year and then apart from that I'm also just you know looking for knockoff stuff uh, <laughs> I, I'm really into the knockoff stuff because it's really cool uh, Turley Gang uh, the Master of the Universe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle knockoffs that's something I want to get the complete set for next year and and I'm also going for a complete set of Bucky O'Hare. I've I've cleared one of the shelves over there, and uh, it's going to be dedicated to Bucky O'Hare. I want to get the complete toy line in 2021. So uh, it depends where COVID allows me to go to flea markets and conventions. I'll be hunting for it over there. Otherwise, I will be checking every month to see if I can add some stuff from some of these secondhand websites I frequently visit. And uh, yeah, it should be doable. I, I think there's like 10 or 12 figures in there and two big vehicles, maybe some other stuff. Hopefully get some promo items. Um, some merchandising stuff that was, uh, you know, connected to Bucky O'Hare. So that's something I'm going to be really looking into because that was a toy line that lots of kids um, that were into the early 90s Turtles, they got some Bucky O'Hare stuff as well. So whenever you find lots of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, there's usually, usually some Bucky O'Hare stuff scattered in there. So uh, it should be pretty doable to find those. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a journey and I'm going to be taking you guys along with it once again this year. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for my collecting and channel goals for 2021. I hope to see you guys every week this year and uh, have a video out. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching every video that I put out. Um, it's, it's awesome when you guys leave a comment. It's awesome when you subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah. If you want to do more, you can always buy a t-shirt down below over here in my Teespring uh, account thing, or you can always check out the Patreon and see if you want to support the channel by joining the Patreon. Uh, I put some more blog posts on there and uh, hopefully I will be able to do some more extra stuff for my Patreon supporters on there as well. So thank you guys so much for watching these collecting goals. I want to hear your collecting goals for 2021. So definitely leave them down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye.